welcome to our channel. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Hugo. We're sell quick, ship quick, part-time resellers. Full-time hustlers. And we have a thrift with us, thrift haul. Oh, vlog, because we did other stuff too. Thing. Thing. For you today. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe hit and the, the bell. bell. And give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, Keep in mind, this video we shot uh, was about uh, a week prior, but we put it all together. Yes. And uh, yeah, a little bit of thrifting, a little bit of RA, some family time. And at the end, like you said, don't miss the haul. So we just finished our eBay open. eBay open. eBay open. eBay headquarters. Tour. tour with awesome Dougie. Uh, you guys should be able to catch that video on if it's already out I'll make sure to tag it on this. Uh, great experience. And then we had to go to Walmart because we needed cash back. Because we are going to start our thrifting and eating. Tour. Yeah of San Jose. In the last like few hours of the day. Yeah but uh, we, we have only come up here a couple times and we definitely have to eat at this one spot. Specifically, so, my family is Vietnamese and Chinese, and we have restaurants in the San Gabriel area. And we specialize in the dish that we're gonna get today. But there's a restaurant in San Jose that is probably one of the most popular restaurants for this item. Yeah, within the community, the Vietnamese community, because we've it's heard people fun. talk about it. It's downtown. not fun. <laughs> so. We are gonna take you guys with us to see the dish. Mm -hmm. But they only take cash, which is why we need cash back. Yeah, and I'll make sure to put the address and restaurant in the description for the video. So if you're in San Jose area and you're curious about what we show you guys there, stop by and eat. It's really good. And we're hungry. delicious now. yeah I'm stuffed and you know what you shouldn't eat and go like straight to bed so I think the best thing to do is go walk it off it's also only five o'clock I know but it got dark real quick but we're gonna take you guys to San Jose one of San Jose Goodwills yeah somewhere somewhere around here uh, let's see what we find but seriously that food was delicious very spicy So we 
left our first stop and we got a few things. We got all this, this, and this. I think we got like 10 to 15 pairs of shoes because they were really cheap and then we found a bag full of Ikea, of Ikea goodies. <laughs> An Ikea bag full of goodies. Yeah, everything from coats, sweaters, to dresses and vests, everything. And we can't wait to do a haul later, but now we are at store number two. two for the trip. So we'll try to film some stuff Something. in there. To a little bit of RA because the thrift store is closed because it's nine o'clock now. Yeah, but you know, we don't stop because it's nine o'clock, so we find something else to do. And TJ Maxx and all the stores are closing at 11 o'clock tonight because Christmas hours. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, we get some stuff for eBay or Poshmark and Mercari, but hopefully we can find some stuff to send in. To Amazon. Mm. Hopefully. We got this bright red light. I think it's snack time. Well, we also found Oh, 10, we found goodies. 10 units? Yes, 10 units. 10 units, because there was one item, but 10, ten of times. them. Yes, and, and that's, now, that's Amazon talk, units. Now we get to snack time. For RA today. Yeah. So I lost track. I think this is story number four. Four of the day. And we are... There it is. If you don't know the RA game, you tend to figure out your bolo and you keep going at it. After you have refuel with some uh, donuts. Donuts. All right. <laughs> because we didn't do store number five. I don't know, but it is 11, 11, 19. Our trunk is almost completely full. Yeah. And we are at Ross. Uh, for one reason only. They're later than everyone else. Yeah, I think they close at one, maybe? Yeah, challenge so. accepted. We're not sleeping yet. Uh, last store, we only got two things. Right now, we are going into I don't know, it's eleven forty-three. I don't oh, know what number we're on. <laughs> I don't know what number we're on, but we're getting in there. All right, done with Posh. We are headed to our first stop, which is Savers because we are going to thrift and do some RA today. Um, we only have a few hours because we do have to drive two hours northeast to get to our Airbnb with family. Um, but we're trying to get in as much sourcing as we can. We can't help it. So it'll be a tag team. We're going to tuck and roll when we get to RA because we know what we want to get. So he's gonna drive up and I'm just gonna 
throw just, myself out and is. run in. It's a the very destination pretty is on your left. Savory. 875 Main Street. It's that was Sabres. Arrived. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you, Siri. So we will take you guys inside and show you a little bit. And hopefully we get some good stuff. Oh. It goes down there. We were deceived. I thought it was a lot smaller. This thing's huge. All right, gorgeous. What's the plan of attack? Um, I my groceries. Okay. And dresses. All right. Those are gonna be my first two. And um, let's get some money. Yeah, I'm going to electronics, hard goods. Then I want to meet you at women's clothes because I'm better at women's clothes than men's. <laughs> Arbitrage. Day two up here in the Bay Area. We just finished at Savers. We picked up two bags. Look both ladies before you pass the street. Yeah. We um, picked up two bags uh, of goodies. Uh, they had a sale, so we had, we definitely were like 50% we're, off yellow tags, so now we are at our first TJ Maxx of the day. And, which uh, is luck. And then there's the rest like right behind us too. So we're gonna go do that. Store number. I don't know. How I, I lost works. count, but we're moving. We're definitely moving. Um, I think this is the last store for the day. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. But we're at TD Maxx. All right, so we are at UC Davis. Ready for a little graduation time with family. We picked up, we did find the things that we were looking for and we found 10 units because we're speaking Amazon now. Yeah, speaking of Amazon, this is the Amazon section. We say units because we can't share the exact items. Hope you understand. But now time for some family time. Thank you for friends to coming in the alternate Eddie Calderon uniform of flannels and boots. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see everyone here. Um, so today's a big day, obviously. I mean, we've already had commencement this morning, the transition from, you know, student to alumni into graduate. And now we're going to have another transition point where we're going to transition from cadet to army officer. So from this day forward, he'll be an officer in the army, whether his career lasts four years or 24 years. This is the start and the first of many milestones in his army tenure. So the next thing we're going to do is what we call the silver dollar salute. So the silver dollar salute recognize the respect that an NCO or soldier gives to an officer by giving them the first salute. The officer then returns that salute and recognizes and acknowledges the respect for that soldier by passing to them a silver dollar. So it's an exchange of that. So the newly commissioned Eddie Calderon, second lieutenant, first salute with a silver dollar of recognition. So will Specialist Tran please come forward? the graduation and Goodwill is on the way home so we are gonna run in for quick because I mean from what we saw really online quick. 
the prices seemed a little high, but it's worth a try. You never know what you'll find. Let's go see. Alright, so first item is this Christian Dior. Uh, Christian oh. Dior. <laughs> Trench coat, jacket, thing. Yeah, real nice. I mean, I, I can't see much anything flaws. Shoulder pads. If it wasn't old, we would think it was new. Yeah. If it wasn't old, I think it's new. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like vintage old. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I think we know what it is. Okay, um, this next piece mm. we have Eileen Fisher. This is an extra large um, hoodie, hoodie, long sleeve, green sweater, and this is 100% linen. Have you found a hoodie before? You know what, we found that brown hoodie, but I think it was on the same trip, ah, right? I think so too. So technically. Oh, there's another bag. Okay, so from this trip, we left with two full Ikea bags and then one smaller bag of things that we kind of cherry picked through to show you what would be like our best finds kind of or what we kind of think is our best find yeah i mean some of the highlights yes our highlight <laughs> reel from the trip because otherwise this video would be forever um we have this lafayette new york lafayette 148 size small really nice peach cream sweater and it has this like design in the middle and it is a silk cotton blend then we have this really pretty dress loving the color one of my favorite finds we went to one thrift store where i found a ton of shoes on oh, the shoes i found a ton of shoes and clothes for a really good price but this one is tadashi shoji and it is a small. And this dress is like a blend, a yeah. rayon spandex blend. But it's really pretty and it's got this lace detail in the top part of the dress. And then on the bottom part of the dress, it also has this lace detail as well. All right. This one. Ooh. And it's got pockets in the front that you can kind of see because they're a little slouchy. Um, well, this one is Marimekko. Not Marimekko for Target. Just. Uh, there's a difference. I, I knew. Marimekko. I knew. Um, but this one is a size extra large. And when I shared this with our friend Laura Von V, she said this was on her list of like log and look bolos. So, or her log and list of things to, yeah, I guess bolos. Like pickups, yeah. Uh, be on so the lookout. Bolos, yeah, be on the lookout. Not a bolo, be on the lookout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one is Rebecca Taylor. This is a size. 10 and this one was our this was my first find at that thrift store where I found a ton of dresses um, This was literally the first item on the rack was this Rebecca Taylor dress. It's really cute It's got um, like a floral. Yeah kaleidoscope design Yeah, you know what I mean like when you look through the kaleidoscope and it's parts ways It looks like that look no it is why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? <laughs> and it flares out at the bottom. And I think it's silk. It feels like silk. And it is 100% silk. 
So Both the outside and the lining. It really is 100% The soft. lining is polyester. Oh, I didn't read it well. Um, oh yeah, this. This is a really cute poncho. <laughs> poncho. But look how cute it is. It looks really warm. It kind of looks like a rug. Yeah, but I like, thought it was a rug. But it's really cute. So I picked this up. Like I saw it in the rack. Um, I didn't see the tags or anything. I just thought that the fuzzy stuff, if you look closely, it's got all these fuzzies and fringe. And I just grabbed it because the fabric looked cool. But when I grabbed it, it is from Anthropology, And... It is new with tags. And it retailed for $160. This is an extra small, small. Um, and, it's it, and it's got an extra button. But how cute is this for, I don't know, like when don't you need a poncho? Yeah, I mean, when don't you need a rug on you? It looks like a rug. All right, and then same store as the anthro. We each found. Oh yeah. I found two. You found one. Probably. I think. Um, but we got Everlane, Everlane, and Everlane. So this is one of the Everlane tags. This one is a medium, and it is like a gray tag. Um, it's just like a mock neck navy blue sweater. And then we got this other mock neck in a size extra small Everlane. This one is a cashmere sweater. I think that last one was um, cotton. It was cotton. And then this one is 100% cashmere. And then we have another Everlane. This one is a small. And I believe... Is it a crew neck or no? Uh... I don't know if that would be scoop neck or like just round neck because crew neck is like this. Hey. Yeah. But it's a cute little yellow sweater. All three Everlanes were in the same spot. I want to say probably not donated by the same person because no, it's they're slightly extra different small, style, yeah. small, medium. Right. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> same store as the Everlane was an Eileen Fisher new with tags this one is a eileen fisher petite medium it is a round neck dress retailed for 258 dollars yeah cute little shift dress love it love everyone it. needs a little black dress right yeah i mean and it's from eileen more. and it's new with tags yeah I was just yeah. saying I was wearing a black shirt. Oh, okay. Or shirt. Oh, here you can. This is yours. So I found things too. Clothing, not just hard goods. Uh, picked up this Stenson. This would just be a blazer? Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. It has shoulder pads. It's a vintage Stetson. I found a few, but not in this, um, what do you call it? Style? Style. Uh, so we're going to give it a shot. Don't know exactly the comps we're going to go for, but... It's in really good condition. Let's sit high and uh, the, I suffer. I'd say it's the Orlando method, but I mean, we've always done it too, so I don't know. Well, there's no comps on it, so we're... And it has this cool little, like, almost like pinstripes in the back or and single in the front. needle. Yeah. Yeah, but it's really good condition, um, and we've sold Stetson hats before. Uh, this one, so ever since, I think I found my first Bryn Walker not too long ago, I keep seeing it now, but I never saw it before. So here is Bryn Walker, I think, um, known for like the login look. look. So Bryn Walker, this is an extra large. So I was gonna call this just like a regular dress, but the sleeves are like nipply. Yeah, you're you gonna know? have to wear something under that. Yeah, so this is like a, I think you're supposed to wear maybe like a login looky shirt underneath. Yeah, or some you kind know? of long sleeve underneath, like a solid print underneath. But and it's got pockets in the front, and it looks like a tweed. So this is a viscose blend, and it is made in the USA. 
I don't know what viscose is. I'm just Jeez. gonna believe the tag. Oh yeah. And picked up these Harley Davidson Hawaiian vests. Both of them were together. Oh, well, these are like tie up. Oh yeah, the tie up too. They're not vests though. No. I don't think so. I don't know. I think these are just sleeveless tops, like button, button up, tie front, sleeveless tops. They're both extra large, but how cute are these? With the little motorcycles and the the little the little seat things. <laughs> Sidecars. Here's this one has a. You see them? Little, tiki mat. Little tiki. Little tikis. And he's riding the motorcycle. Yeah, you know, and we actually went to when we were in Hawaii with the uh, Chrissy and Nick. We actually went oh, to you know a what? Harley this store. Is, is this the rain? Not rain no, spooner. Uh, what was it? No. Oh, this is um. Tori, Tori Richard. So Tori Richard and Harley Davidson. Collab. Yeah. Well, nice. It doesn't fit me. I can't pull off a tie front. Look, all of Hugo's finds right here. Look at that. New with tag Pendleton uh, wool coat. Snap front. Snap front, real nice. I think, do we find anything wrong with yep. this? So, really nice Pendleton for women. It's a thick, like, quilted, extra small wool button up. Retailed for $249, but it is missing the little snap on at the bottom. But at least it's at the very bottom. So, I'm going to put that in the listing. I think it's going to list it up. Yeah. It's really nice. It's really thick. Needs just a little bit of lint rolling. Uh, this one right here. This really pretty dress, and it's got this like drapey detail in the front. Um, this little drape back detail, open back right there too, with the tag poking my eye. Um, this one is BCBG Max Azria Runway, which is why I picked it up. Can the runway, part, right? Yeah. Mm. You can kind of see it because it's light, but it yeah. says BCBG and then it says runway underneath. Um, this one is a size 8, so I was excited to pick this up because I had never found the runway collection before. Um, and the lining is silk, but the outside is polyester. But it's still a really cute black dress. Again, we all need a little black dress. Okay. Vera Wang. But this is Vera Wang Lavender Label in a size zero because it is like super tiny. Yeah. So that this might, is the dress. My leg. Yeah, I think this hits my leg. But this is a size zero and this is the waist right here. Um, but it is a single sleeve strap. Yeah. Single strap. Um, like half. Does this make it asymmetrical? Sweetheart? Yeah. Uh, I think the designer like, couldn't figure out what they wanted. Well, not body con, body con dress. What is it called? Oh, it looks like, oh no, it's not a bandage dress, but it's like ruched and it's new with tags. So it's complicated, but it's a really pretty dress. This really pretty purple color. Um, and it's, I've never found that before either. Yeah, I mean, we got a chance to find some pretty cool stuff up there. We were a little pickier since we weren't sure how much we were going to pick up and be able to drive back home. Yep. This is pretty cool. Uh, this one is Rag and Bone size 6. Rag and Bone store exclusive. I don't know if I've ever picked up a Rag and Bone dress. No, I think that we've done only but jeans. You want to hold that side? Mm -hmm. So this is like a faux wrap because it's just a it's an actual like pullover dress oh wait is it oh just kidding it is it a, is a wrap it's just actually pre-inserted oh it is a wrap dress totally knew that so this rag and bone wrap dress totally gonna edit that and it's got <laughs> a solid black back but it's really cute um yeah 
It'd be cool and now that we know it's a rapture dress. <laughs> and then we found a Diane von Furstenberg, size zero. Not Frankenstein. Sleeveless. Is there a dress? name for the ones? Is this the ones that have the black on the sides to give you a shape? I don't know, like a body shaping dress? I think so. We'll call it a body shaping dress. Um, did you want to show your hard goods? And then yeah. I'm going to show you our best find. Or our most complicated find. Yes, it has a story behind it that continued. Uh, so, <clears throat> showed exactly the same item before. Except the one I found was pretty sure it was new unused or a new open box. But it's a Malibu, it's an electric timer for high voltage. Basically this could be kept outside and control heavy duty um, electrical equipment. Lighting, plumbing, whatever it might be. And you set it to a timer. Literally just sold that about a week or two ago. Um, and loved it, it was good. So hopefully this one sells quick. And uh, also got this, which is a Intellect NMES. Means nothing to me or to you. But, curiosity, I saw a box and I opened it. Which works out often. But it's actually, let's see if we can show you without dropping it all. There you go. A muscle stimulator. So it's the type you put little pads on and special parts, you know, make sure you get the right muscles. I think he means stimulator. Akuna Matata. Uh, but yeah, so you turn it on and get a rhythm and it'll help pulse massage like thing. Uh, but picked it up for about five bucks and it should go for, I think it was 50 free ship. I don't know, you looked it up. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's an easy one and easy to ship. And uh... I lied because I found four more things I really wanted to show you guys because um, we left the other bag untouched. But this one is a Burberry's size 12 button up shirt that we found. I think this is our last thrift store up north. Um, and then right here, I found a really pretty White House Black Market new tag size four sheath dress with a slit. It retailed for $160. But look how pretty this dress is. I wish it fit me. But it's like a midi dress. Uh, it just looks really classic. And it's like a form-fitting dress. Um, and then I found a rag and bone jacket. This is a size eight, but it looks- It looks like new. It looks almost brand new. It still has the little white, you know where it holds the slit in the back? Yeah, where it it's keeps it. It's still attached. Like normally people cut that before they wear it. Yeah, right? you have to cut it. You're supposed to cut it to use it. Okay, so this looks almost brand new and it is just a basic blend of things but how cute is this jacket no it's really nice um yeah i was really excited because that was my first find at that goodwill yeah um and then also at that same goodwill i found this other top that was almost new too yeah i mean like this it looks, doesn't look like it shows any signs of wear. Uh, Lafayette 148 New York, size 10. Look how cute this top is. Yeah, like, I like that. A business top, zip up. Yeah, I, okay. And then, I know we didn't show any of our shoes, but I don't know where that bag went. Um, we found some fry shoes. <sighs> For someone who hates cleaning shoes, I found like 10 pairs of shoes that we picked up. She did. Because it was like $4 a pair, which we don't ever see where we are oh, here. No. The lowest we normally see is about eight bucks, eight to 10 bucks a pair yeah. here. For beat up pairs. All right, if you follow us on Instagram, we talked about this already. Um, but we did find a little tiny hole in this, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much. We found this jacket. So oh, vest. Yeah. Jacket vest. But it is a puffer and it is from this brand, K U I U. I guess it's known in the hunting world. So here's a bolo. 
remember this if mm -hmm. you see this pick it up kuiu this is a medium sleeveless camo um it has a tiny little hole in the back right there yeah uh but the issue with this one and the reason why we talked about this online was the goodwill that we picked it up from put security tags on their items that were priced at 10 and higher and the person who rang us up did not take off the security tag on this and so we didn't notice it until after we had left that store but we also had to drive back home yeah when we figured it out and, it and was just, just that location was like 30 minutes the opposite way so we scrambled we watch YouTube, we Googled how to take off this one security tag because it is the circular one with ink. Um, watched a YouTube video and found a video on how to take off multiple Tag. tags, like variations of tags. Um, and in the video, the person that was talking was saying you needed 10,000 and higher. Yeah, roughly 10,000 GS, which is a magnetic measurement unit. Um, which is the strength of the magnet and you need it at least about 10 so it could work well enough um, Well, it's not as easy to buy security tag removers. Yeah, I wonder why because you know mm, Kleptos <laughs> Right? Yeah, so We found a magnet not the magnet made for removing security tags The ones that are made for removing security tags actually have a dip in it yeah, so they call that, them golf balls yeah so that you can actually put the tag in the golf ball and give it like slight grip so the one that we got was just like a regular disc magnet and it worked and it took it off and now I get to list it yeah for all the tacos all the tacos but yeah so this is just again are some of the top finds there's a lot of good stuff we couldn't get to because it's buried in more stuff. But uh, yeah, hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed our trip. Uh, we try to vlog. Uh, we do know we did more RA than expected, so we can't show what we pick up in RA necessarily. Yeah. But you'll see how many stores we actually hit. We were busy. Yeah, so all in all, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for liking and subscribing and watching us and tagging along our journey. Yeah, it's been fun. We have so much more to learn. Bye-bye.